Good evening and a really warm welcome to the live and virtual post-16 opportunities evening at Heels School. We're delighted that you can join us. For those of you watching this evening who don't know me, my name's Justine Mason and I'm the principal of this school, a position I've held for five years now. And throughout that five years, our whole school community has worked so hard to deliver on a shared ambition for our school, making sure that we go strength to strength each day for the greater good of our young people. And we're proud of our achievements to date. We've gone from strength to strength with regards to the opportunities, the experiences, the outcomes, but we're not complacent and we continuously strive to get better and better each day together. The sky is genuinely the limit for our young people. They deserve the best and we're working and continue to work incredibly hard and are determined to deliver. So on behalf of everyone at Heels School, I'd like to thank you for taking the time for tuning in this evening to find out why we believe Heels School is a great place to learn and a great place to grow. We're all so disappointed that we can't open our doors to you at this time due to the restrictions around COVID-19. There's nothing more than we delight in than uh, showing people old and new around our school, whether you're familiar with Heels School or whether you're new to our school. It's always a delight and unfortunately we can't do that in person this evening. And so many people, visitors to the school, as I say, old and new, always comment without question um, about the strength of relationships at the school, about the warmth, about the team ethos. And you're not going to get a sense of feeling that and seeing it and hearing it and experiencing it for yourself firsthand this evening, which we're disappointed about. So we'll try and convey some of that Heal School magic through this medium this evening. It's frustrating, it's frustrating for all of us, but we know you understand and we thank you for your patience at this time. So whether you're new to the Heels family or whether you've spent the last five years as part of the Heels family, welcome, particularly welcome to those schools uh, from across Plymouth and beyond. And we're really pleased that you've come to find out more about the wonderful opportunities that we know are within our sixth form and what we can offer you over the next two years and how we think that being a Heel School graduate will absolutely make you stand out from the crowd. We know only too well what an important decision this is for you. And we want to make sure that you are fully informed when you choose your sixth form. And so with this in mind, I want to ensure that you have every opportunity to find out about Heel School. So you'll get the introduction this evening to a fabulous range of opportunities and experiences that we offer our young people, both within the classroom and beyond the curriculum, to ensure that they become well-rounded young people, equipped with the emotional toolkit, the qualifications and the aspiration to really make their mark on the world, to be the best that they can be. So please do check out the Heels School website where you'll see a wealth of introductory videos associated with each course that we offer to supplement the detailed written information and where you can meet some of our staff. Follow us on our social media, our Twitter account, our Heels Facebook page and see what goes on beyond the portico to get a flavour of Heels School in action. And this evening, to make your experience a little more interactive, we've set up a special email address you can ask any questions that you see of staff and student throughout the presentation or after if you'd prefer, no matter how big or how small. And a team of Heels staff are poised at their devices this evening, eager to be uh, responsive to your questions and to respond to those in real time or indeed, if you prefer, in person, on the phone over the next 24 hours, 48 hours, you decide, you let us know what works for you. Our mission, though, is to ensure that you are fully informed and more than that, you are excited about what Heels can offer you in our sixth form. And I must stress that this is a really exciting time to be part of Team Heels. We saw the school's best ever examined and externally verified GCSE and A-level outcomes in the summer of 2019, last year. And then we added yet further value to those best ever results this summer in 2020. We've seen an unprecedented investment in our learning stock over recent years, improving our learning environments. 
we've seen an increase in our pupil admission numbers in year seven and eight and rolling through to year nine now in September for next year to try to meet a growing parental demand for a place at Heels School. So we've increased from 210 to 240 in a year group and we're full with a waiting list in those year groups lower down school. We've seen our sixth form numbers increase. Success breeds success and we've seen those numbers come through in force, not just from the Heels year 11 through to our sixth form, but increasing numbers from schools across the city and beyond Plymouth. And of course, the opportunities that present themselves being part of the West Country Schools Trust, which is a family of schools, seven secondary schools, 15 primary schools from across Cornwall, Plymouth and Devon. Those opportunities offer our young people, our students and our staff something even more special. So of course you're going to expect me to talk about our latest offset report so that you've got assurances about the quality of provision at Heels. But do you know, I just want to give a cursory nod to these comments because yes, we were thrilled that Ofsted recognised the rapid and sustained improvement in the July 2017 inspection, where we were judged as good, not just in the sixth form, but across every category. And yes, we were motivated by Ofsted's comments that they could see our improvement journey and they recognised our capacity to improve still further beyond the good judgement. But do you know, that was three and a half years ago now, and the schools got stronger and stronger since that point, particularly in terms of outcomes. So I don't feel it's a fair reflection on where we are now. It just doesn't do our excellent sixth form justice. We have all the ingredients, I believe, to be excellent in all measures. We have a fabulous sixth form building, which is akin to the vibe of a university campus. And you've only got to go in there during a working day to see a healthy balance of work rest and play. Our director of Post 16, Cairn Stone, continues to drive improvement through tracking progress and through timely interventions. We have the spotlight trained absolutely on quality first teaching across all subject areas, working with our dedicated and supported teaching and support staff to ensure that our students get the best out of their classroom experience in and out of the classroom, classroom day in day out and to cap it off we have the most wonderful students at Heal School and especially in our post 16 and I'm not just saying that we've got uh, a really great group of young people you'll meet some of them during the course of this evening and there's probably between 12 15 youngsters from schools across the city and beyond that come and join Heal Sixth Form every single year so it's a really good blend too so with that blend of ingredients, I have absolutely every confidence that our sixth form provision is going to continue to get stronger and stronger and even better. But let's forget Ofsted and their judgments. This is what it's all about. A culture of success, where we all dream big, where we aim high and we work hard. It's something that we all hold dear, we nurture and we grow. And we take pride and delight in helping to shape future fit young people with the knowledge, skills and attributes to go on and make a positive mark on the world and to be the difference. And you'll see from these lovely photos taken in the summer of 2019 when the world was a different place and we could celebrate success at the end of an era together. But you'll see from this that we do this in partnership, partnership with students, parents, carers and staff. Team Heels at its best, we're in it together. And this summer, we were thrilled that our year 11s and our year 13s achieved a double whammy, building on the school's best ever A-level results and best ever GCSE results of 2019. Of course, the 2020 results weren't externally verified due to final exams not being taken because of COVID-19. But nevertheless, as you can clearly see, the results awarded by exam boards absolutely fit our three-year trajectory of improvement. So they're as accurate and as verified as is possible in the absence of final assessments. And we are incredibly proud of our students for their wonderful achievements. You can see from the table just there that we've made significant gains across all measures at A-level for the past two years now. And we've now got to a point where at least one in every second grade at A-level is an A-star, A or B grade. 
and just about one in every four grades, 24%, almost a quarter of all grades, is an A star or an A grade. And we think that's certainly something to celebrate for a truly comprehensive intake. Our pass rate at A-level was well above the national average in 2019 at 99.33% and we were thrilled to improve this yet further to achieve a 100% pass rate this summer. The average grade for A-levels in the sixth form has also improved. It's now a B- and our average grade for applied A-levels and level three qualifications is a distinction minus. In short, you can see a strong and sustained improvement overall, which places Heels School above average across a range of measures and in the top 20% of schools nationally for the past two years for our sixth form provision. Our top 20 performing A-level students from this summer achieved an impressive eight A-star grades, 32 A-grades and 18 B-grades between them. We've high progression rates to higher education and apprenticeships and every student leaves heels with a destination, whether that be for further or higher education, for training or employment. You'll see just some of the achievements of our students after this summer and their destinations, many of whom access the Russell Group universities. But it's not just about an institution's ability to deliver the top grades. Feeling a sense of belonging a pride in belonging, having strong pastoral care and wraparound support. These things are absolutely crucial. A place has got to feel right. And we can't underestimate the importance of feeling part of something. It's that sense of belonging that we foster here at Heels School, regardless of how old a student gets, or whether they've continued from the Heels year 11 through to our sixth form, or joined us from another school elsewhere. You will be part of Team Heels, and you'll always be part of Team Heels long after you graduate. Heels means something, it's special. So you can see just some of the elements that make our current sixth form provision strong, but where are we heading? I want to be really clear about the aspiration and the determination for our post-16 provision to be exceptional rather than strongly good. And that's the journey we're on in our sixth form, from good to outstanding. We're making rapid progress in that quest. And we want you to help us shape that journey. So what's my job in this? Well, my job is to work with young people, with parents, carers, governors, colleagues, to remove all of the barriers to ensure that our young people are supported, engaged, challenged, inspired, most of all, happy. Instilling a sense of pride in the badge from our students and our staff is something that I personally hold dear. And likewise, reflecting that sense of pride back at our staff, back at our students is just as important. And I'm absolutely proud of the way that our post-16 students conduct themselves, how they're positive role models, strong leaders for the younger children coming up through the ranks of Team Heels. Take the junior leadership team, a wonderful group of year 13 students who work very closely alongside me personally and my senior leadership team to challenge me, challenge my colleagues, challenge the school to be the best that we can be and to never settle for anything less. Shortly, Sarah will speak of her experience as a student who has joined Heels School from another school elsewhere in the city. And Millie and Ollie, our deputy head girl and deputy head boy, will share with you their experience of the sixth form. And they'll give you a sense of what Heels can offer you to help you to grow and succeed. And also, of course, what we expect of you as a Heels student, so that you will help our school, your school, to grow and to flourish. First though, let me introduce you to Cairn Stone, our director of Post 16, and he's gonna talk you through the opportunities, the choices, and also the admissions process. Over to you, Mr. Stone. Good evening, everyone. It has been an absolute privilege this week to visit tutor groups, uh, all year 11 tutor groups, and speak to the students about their career aspirations, their post 16 options, and their next steps. And that's what it's all about for us. It's all about speaking to the students and working out what they want to do and what their interests are uh, going forward. 
What I'm going to talk to you today about is the process. And I spoke to the students a lot this week and saying, you know, you don't have to make decisions tonight. Mm. This is the start of the process. And it's all about the research. It's all about talking to students. It's talking to mental staff over the coming weeks and about making sure that they are fully informed in how to make their next steps. Firstly, I want to talk to you about this whole idea where we talk about a personalised curriculum. The best aspect of Post-16 at Heels is that we try and personalise the curriculum for all our learners. Post-16 is a brilliant because students get to study subjects they really enjoy and specialise in a particular area. But there are many aspects of the Heels ethos that continue. Relationships that we build with the students are absolutely key and the pastoral care that we offer at Post-16 is excellent. Students are assigned a tutor they see every day and they will stay with that tutor on their journey through Pro 16 as tutor groups are in year groups in year 12 and in year 13. With smaller numbers at Pro 16, it gives us a real opportunity to get to work with the students and personalise their career choices, their uh, curriculum choices and also their next steps. We've talked a lot about opportunities and we've talked a lot about experiences. And one of the best things for me is when students are making their choices about thinking about next steps um, when, and because there are such small numbers at Post 16, that really helps us to do that. Ms. Mason mentioned earlier about the junior leadership team and there's other opportunities at Post 16 that we can offer. Although Post 16 has its own building and uniform, it is still very much part of the fabric of the school. Students can still be involved in all extracurricular ac activities such as uh, the Duke of Edinburgh scheme, the CCF, school shows, mentoring, coaching, the, coaching the younger students. And our ethos is very much about creating opportunities and experiences so that students can add these to their CVs or personal statements when applying for universities. For me, I talked to the students about, yes, it's about getting the best grades possible when they leave us in year 13 but it's also about how we can build up their CVs, build their personal statements. And things like school shows, CCF, is still very much that they're part of the school. They've spent five years here, and those extra two years are where they can really make a difference. I think, for me, it's about them leaving with opportunities and building their relationships with the students. And I always say, a post 16 is the best. I often say to them all the time, I have the best job in the school, because I get to work with these great young students who are keen to move on and progress to their next steps. A key part tonight is about their academic choices that they will be making at Post 16. We offer a wide range of courses at Post 16 and a number of new subjects that students will not have studied before. So it's really key tonight that they start that process about investigating subjects such as sociology, psychology, criminology, travel and tourism, digital media. And that's what's so exciting about Post 16, about the range of options that we have. We would normally expect students to achieve five grade fives to access level three courses, but we will always work with young people to ensure they're on the right courses and work with what's best for them. On the school website tonight, on the Post 16 section under the course information, is all the key information on each subject and I really encourage you to investigate and do that research tonight to see what options that are there. On those informations, there's information about entry requirements, course outlines, but also how the course is assessed, because I think that is also key as well, because although you'll see on there there are A-level subjects, there's also what we call Level 3 BTECs or Cambridge Technicals, and they're slightly different because students will do a 50% coursework element and a 50% uh, exam examination element. So it's very much about courses that are right for them. Through the PLIM Consortium, we also offer subjects and obviously when I meet with the students and talk about what their particular options are, we will of course okay, work with them around their options. So it would have been great tonight to have you in and walking around the Post 16 and really getting a feel for the building and what it's like and talking to students about and teachers as well about you know, kind of the subjects that we offer. I very much talk about the blend of subjects. Some subjects talk the same language, maths, chemistry, physics. So you find very often that students are very clear in their choices. Some students will have a, a wide range of, of, of experiences and have a wide range of expertise. And they might be struggling because they could take four or five A-levels. 
But normally what we say to the students is, you really want to be choosing three A-levels uh, to start with, but some people may start on four. And that's all about the personal choice and the options that we would like to give to them. Some subjects are very particular. So as you're thinking about next steps or career options, there might be some subjects where you need to take particular A-levels. And what we do is we talk to you about your next steps and making sure that those choices are right and correct. But the best thing is to talk to your teachers. The best thing is to do the research. And that's what we're here for. We're here to help you and guide you through this process. And I, like I said before, it's the best job in the school because I get to help you on your next steps and where you want to go. So the timeline then. As you can see, uh, the timeline here starts on this evening's uh, presentation where obviously you can see about the range of courses that are on offer. And also, as I mentioned before, the process starts today, but we would like students to um, complete their applications by the 11th of January. I just want to take draw your attention to on there where I mentioned about interviews through February and March and that's a key point for us where every student in year 11, every external student that applies for post 16 will have a 15 minute interview with myself or a member of the senior leadership team and what we do in that interview is really important. We sit down and we talk about your options and we talk about your choices and we just make sure that the opportunities and the choices you're taking now are still going to open opportunities for the future. Because obviously we've got this wealth of experience that we want to share with you and make sure that you make the right choices with you. So as I talked about, it's a start of the journey. Students will be emailed this evening the application form. Now this is uh, not to be due to, due to be handed in on Monday the 11th, um, but also they can access this application form on the post 16 section of the website under the admissions and the prospectus section. It is really important students prioritise their choices and numbers one to four. And on the bottom there, it will ask for additional information. The more information you can include on there, the better, especially if you've got a particular career in mind, if it's engineering or if it's medicine or if it's teaching. So when we come to that interview process, we can know where your journey or where your options uh, and why you have made those particular options. I just want to say thank you tonight for tuning in uh, and I, like I said before, it is very much about the start of a journey and we are here to help you through it. In a minute we're going to hear from three of our Year 13 students who have been through the process and they can kind of describe for you what it's like better than me about their journey post-16. I'm going to hand over now to Sarah, Ollie and Millie. Thank you very much. Well, I knew that I w really wanted to come, but I was just quite nervous, sort of like leaving my old friends behind. But he was a really supportive and really like helpful responding to all my emails about any queries. And I even had a close friend who already came to the school. And at my request, they put me in the same form as him. So that was really reassuring. So on the first day, I had someone that I knew. And I also really liked the fact that they had the induction day before the start of the summer holidays, as that meant that I didn't spend all summer like worrying about who was going to be in my class and about the first day, so that was really nice as well. Well, they were just sort of really supportive and just if I ever needed anything. And on, when I was new on my first week, like teachers sort of like asked if I was getting on okay and it was all really, they were all really supportive really. I now study English Literature, Psychology and Philosophy and Ethics at A-Level and my teachers for those subjects are just brilliant and I know I wouldn't be doing as well if I didn't have the brilliant teachers that I do and I just think I've chosen like a wide range of subjects which will open a lot of opportunities for me and I'd say it was definitely the best choice I made. I was really nervous but I'm so glad I did it. Like the facilities here are amazing, like the post-16 block is brilliant and like provides space for um, just post-16 students and lots of opportunities like school shows, EPQ, Gold DOV, there's loads of opportunities for uh, sick formers and I'm so glad and I still keep in contact with my old friends as well because that was another major worry for me but yeah I still keep in touch with my old friends and I just ended up making a lot more so it's really nice and yeah all the people at Heels, all the students are really lovely like um, I remember on my induction day one of a girl who's now my close friend invited me to sit with a group at lunch so I wasn't sat by myself and they even made a sick form group chat so I got to know them all over the summer and everyone was just really supportive on my uh, transition really so 
yeah, I just say go for it and you'll regret it if you don't because you'll always think, oh, what if I had gone? But yeah, I'd really recommend coming to Heels. Well, my, my uh, choices were a little bit of a roller coaster. I um, don't know about you, but I started off with two dead set, what I wanted to do, and I knew that was geography and psychology. However, my third choice, I had no idea, to be honest. There were so many different subjects that I sort of really enjoyed, but um, I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do. Um, the ideas of chemistry, biology, English literature, all of them came floating around. Um, even had a look at another school, law for PhD. Yeah, we both did that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Um, but I felt he was probably the best, better school for me. I was better suited to it, definitely. definitely. Um, but I definitely felt there was a wide variety of courses offered to me um, at, at Peels. So I knew if I wanted to do English literature, I could always change maybe at the later point. Um, but I, was, I did start with English literature, but I did change later on. Um, did you? I don't know what you did. did yeah, you so it well? I had the same as you. I was dead set on geography and psychology. Yeah. And to start with, I really wanted to do four subjects. So I had English and maths, but I also went to a fifth induction session, oh, yeah. which was for RS, and then decided after that that I'd rather take RS than English. Yeah. So I started off with those four. Um, and then about halfway through year 12 I decided yeah. that four subjects was just too much yeah. for me so I dropped maths and now I'm just doing psychology, geography and RS yeah. but I would definitely say to any year 12s that doing three is more than enough and yeah. there is a lot, it's very easy to change yeah. you don't need to be set in stone what you pick at the end of year 11 because if you don't enjoy something you can change it their support is really good Yeah, well we both know about changing a lot because I started off with English literature and now I do PE instead um, because I had that roller coaster of taking English literature, then chemistry and PE, and now PE. Even though I was dead set when I changed to chemistry and PE that I was going to do chemistry, but actually after taking on the courses and doing some of them, I realised that PE was actually what I wanted to do. And now looking further ahead at university, I already want to do sports science, so yeah. I'm glad I did change to PE, and that flexibility is there for you if you want it. Yeah, the first few weeks are really good because if you don't enjoy something, it is really easy yeah. to just go, actually, this isn't for me, yeah. and it's not going to impact much on the future for you because you've still got time to, to get on what course you need to be on. Well the support set in year 12 is really, oh, and year 11 is really good as well because yeah. while I wasn't sure of my courses at first, the teachers knew what I was strong at, they knew what I was good at and they pointed me in the right direction. Yeah and we um, had our we had our meetings with yeah. SLT where they go through all of your options, they talk you through what your skill sets are, what yeah. would be best for you if you've got a career in mind Definitely. and that was really helpful for me in narrowing down my choices because I did have quite a wide range of subjects that I was yeah. thinking about to start with but Mr Stone was really supportive. Yeah and really helped me decide on that one. I definitely agree, because I have my Miss, 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 Miss Pomfret, who's an English teacher, and she yeah. really helped me with my choice as well, so she pointed me in the right direction. Um, I also thought that the advice they gave us was very good. Um, it was really strong, it was useful advice, it was something I could take away and think about with my parents necessarily, yeah. and um, it, wasn't, it wasn't always my parents that led the decision. I helped choose my decision, so it's completely free-throwing. Yeah. Um, so you definitely feel like you're in charge of what you want to do. And um, I think that's the thing about sick form as well, is it's very different from year 11 in yeah. that you have a lot more independence yeah. and like you have a much better relationship with your teachers, definitely. you get more like uh, individual feedback and you sort of feel like you grow as a person yeah. a lot more, it's less you're part of a class and more you're actually learning for yourself, Yeah, definitely. which is why I enjoy it more. Yeah. During the lessons you feel not more relaxed but you feel like you're more in a, um, an environment where it's sort of more of a conversation and flowing yeah, definitely. and you're learning through sort of supporting your teachers and they're supporting you back and then being in a conversation with you so everyone in the class feels really tight-knitted. Yeah and class. you're much more responsible yeah. for your own your own education. Yeah and it's definitely more it's more supportive in the classes as well because everyone's so close in the small classes for example our geography class is a class of 12 yeah. everyone knows each other really well and the class flows really well. And we bounce off the teachers yeah, really well as well. Definitely, so I think I definitely made the right choices in my yeah, films. Yeah, me too, I agree. So before we conclude this evening's presentation with some words from our most prized asset, our fabulous students in the sixth form, a reminder please to explore the Heal School website, see what's on offer, track us through the various aspects of social media, and of course, contact us there's that email again. Talk to us about your options. This is, after all, all about you. Don't think you're putting anybody out and there's no such thing as a silly question. This is your time. Take it. You've got some important choices to make now. Some big choices for next year, regardless of what you may be doing. Um, but we absolutely know that you will make the right decision. And remember, you've got a team around you. You've got your parents, carers, interested adults. You've got your teachers, support staff, your friends and colleagues even. Make use of that network around you. Of course, the choice you make, well, we'd love that to be Heal School. 
and we'd be absolutely thrilled to have you on board as part of Team Heels for the next two years of your educational journey. And we know that we'd be safe in the knowledge that you would love being part of the school community as much as we do. So all that remains for me to do this evening before I introduce our students is to thank you on behalf of everyone at Heels School for, for tuning in to see us this evening, to wish you the very best of luck for your exams this summer and of course for your future choices post 16, whatever they may be. So take care, stay strong, be optimistic, be happy. It's been a tough year, a really tough year for everyone, but you've got this and we've got you. Over to our wonderful students. Thank you everyone and good night from me. I will take a lot of my sixth form experience with me in the future. I've had such a positive time here. You kind of get the opportunity to go away and find stuff out for yourself and then bring it into class, show it to your teachers, show it to your friends and build more of an independent ability to learn. It is just a really nice place to be. You don't ever feel nervous about coming to school. It's just very relaxed. Lunch times with my friends, bouncing off each other, debates in class. I'll remember those moments for a long time. The staff are really supportive and they'll definitely help you get to where you want to go. My relationships with my teachers are so important to me. They make the subject, my lessons, so much better. That opportunity to have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation about some really juicy topics, I've really enjoyed doing. I feel a lot more comfortable emailing my teachers if I'm stuck. You see them more often and you build that relationship with them. Definitely my drama lessons, they're a lot more creative now. There's a lot more freedom to uh, sort of perform by yourself. It's really good for me. I knew Spanish was exactly what I wanted to do. I had to fight to get here. I just love this school, I couldn't imagine being anywhere else. My friends are everything to me in sixth form. They make my study periods so much more exciting. We do a lot of collaborative work. The study periods definitely give you the opportunity to complete all your schoolwork so that when you go home, you can have that time just to relax and do what you want. There's a lot of social spaces for you to go and hang out with everyone. Friendships really carry you along in your journey for sixth form. We're so lucky that we've got this brand new building which is very secluded, where you can get away from everything else and do your work quietly. There's just lots of ways that you can study, which is what I really love. They want to work hard, they want to progress on to university or apprenticeships, and generally they've got an idea of where they want to go to next. So our job really is to help and support them and make sure they get on to their next steps. I've studied maths, further maths, history and English. My next step is going to be Maths and Philosophy at university. My top university would be Oxford and then Warwick. I'm studying Spanish, Maths, Physics and Geography. At Heels I've joined the CCF and I think that the opportunities within that have really led me to consider a career within the armed forces. I can either do civil or mechanical engineering and then I'd like to join the army as an officer. I study French, Philosophy and Ethics and Spanish. My main one at the moment that I'm looking at is King's College in London. I'm studying media, drama and history. Something in the arts, definitely in the drama sort of spectrum of a career path. I'm taking biology, business and PE, hoping to go down the path of sports psychology or sports science. My options are chemistry, biology, maths and music. I would like to go into something like midwifery. Currently I'm doing maths, geography and physics and my current plan is to become a meteorologist. Travel and tourism, I do philosophy and ethics and I do sociology. I would like to study tourism management, it's a topic that I'm really passionate about. I would love to travel in the future, the school is really supportive of that. They want what's best for us and whatever is going to make us feel happy really. There's such a sense of community. Everyone supports each other. It's not clicky, it's not a popularity contest. Everyone gets on with everyone else and it's such a nice place to be. You're gonna enjoy your time here if you come, so I would go for it. <laughs>